and we do have less than 24 hours to go until Christmas, but there are still people who are scrambling to get their holiday shopping done. Yeah, procrastinators, this story is about you. <laughs> KCR3 Stephanie Lynn live at the Arden Fair Mall. <laughs> and Stephanie, I know there are a lot of last minute shoppers out there, but uh, the mall just closed, right? Yeah, absolutely, Brandy, Lisa. The mall did just close, and as you can see all around me, those parking spots are starting to empty out. If you watched us at our 5 o'clock hour, there are a lot more cars parked out here. But again, as I just mentioned, most of those cars have gone home, people heading home to celebrate Christmas Eve with their families. Now, this is the live perspective outside of the mall, and here is what we saw earlier today indoors. Jingle bell time, it's a slow time to go on in a one horse sleigh. Hey. Eight year old Aaron Jones is feeling festive at the Arden Fair Mall with his family today. I'm hoping for um, a new tablet because I kind of broke it. He's hoping mom Christian is able to deliver. You guys doing some last minute shopping today? Absolutely. Yes, definitely. Yeah. I can't get anything shipped. So I had to come to the mall in order to get their stuff. She's one of many people crowding the walkways and stores here searching for the perfect gift with under 24 hours to go till Christmas. We were lucky to get parking right away. Hopefully we get it done today and not tomorrow. <laughs> This year, supply chain issues logging online shoppers off from their computers. So this year, all of my shopping is in person. Um, I was doing stuff online, but there was a lot of delays. Businesses hoping to take advantage of the procrastination, advertising tempting deals and big discounts. Every hour, uh, maybe between 40 to 60 people. This store manager happy for the surge in foot traffic after another tough year for many businesses. Better than last year. This Christmas Eve, a busy one for retailers here. The mall experiencing a 50% increase in shoppers this year compared to last. The realities of COVID not lost on shoppers braving the crowds today. Just trying to stay away from the crowds, but get stuff done fast. I have my N95 mask on, making sure that I'm that staying six feet away from people. Uh, I think everybody just needs to do their job with the mask and uh, protecting themselves with hand sanitizer. But for this woman battling health problems, the best gift of all is simply being with family. Her sisters flew in from the Philippines to be with her this Christmas. There are a lot of requirements, but we are just happy that we are here. I'm happy that I'm able to see them and spend time with them. Now, despite the increase in mall traffic we're seeing this year, officials here at the mall tell me that visitor traffic is still lower than what it was before the pandemic. Reporting live from Sacramento, Stephanie Lynn, KCRA 3 News. And Merry Christmas Eve, everybody. Merry Christmas Eve to you, Stephanie. But good news for those uh, retailers, especially those small businesses, seeing yes. folks coming in and shopping right now.